In today's video, we're going to show you how to get more people to play your game in Dreams PS4. Pre-launch If you want to maximise the amount of players your Dream gets, you need to start thinking about your potential audience before you even start making your game. Certain creations, like those based off of existing intellectual properties, or what might be considered inappropriate content, are going to have a tougher time getting attention in Dreams. There is a lot of leeway in Dreams moderation guidelines, so be sure to make smart choices. Once your development enters full swing, you'll have plenty of opportunities you can use to start building some hype. Share the most polished parts of the work you've done so far. Screenshots, short videos, character showcases, trailers, anything that shows off your work in the best light possible. You can share this stuff in-game, but there are a number of external platforms you can use such as the Dream subreddit, Discord groups and Facebook communities. Twitter is by far the most active of these groups and is often perused by Media Molecule and its Dreams curation team. Remember to tag your posts with the hashtags, hashtag made in dreams or hashtag dreams PS4. Before you launch your game, remember to get your housekeeping in order. A distinct thumbnail, a clear title, a detailed description and a relevant list of tags all help make your game look more professional and increases the chance of a player choosing to take the risk with it. Launch. As soon as your game goes live in Dreams, the clock is ticking. You've got a finite amount of time to maximise your plays. Four weeks to be exact. When you first click publish, your dream will be entered into the most thumbed up dreams released in the last four weeks. The more thumbs up your dream gets, the higher your dream climbs in this list, and the more likely you'll be to get even more plays and then even more thumbs up. We call it the circle of likes. Now is the time to really ramp up sharing your game, not only on social media, but in game as well, using the dreams share function. It's controversial advice because some people really hate receiving notifications to play Dreams, whilst they're playing Dreams. Go figure. Like it or not, the share function is an invaluable tool. It can get you more plays and it's best taken advantage of in these crucial four weeks. Remember, you can filter the players based on things like their level, online activity and what they do in Dreams. If you're willing to take the time, you can send invitations out in bulk. Our advice? Do your best to send no more than one request to an individual dreamer. Spamming users with this feature won't win you any friends and is likely to end with you getting blocked. If your dream gets some momentum behind it, you might find the mighty eye of Media Molecule on you. A Media Molecule pick means your dream will be shown off on their weekly streams and you'll be added to yet another playlist on the front page, and the hot logo they print on your thumbnail acts as a badge of quality which further encourages players to check out your game. Another trick to get more plays is to enter your creation into Media Molecule's Community Jam. These are regular themed events encouraging you to develop around a specific topic. The community votes on these dreams, and so it is another way to get your game discovered. Just remember to only enter a community jam if your dream is truly relevant. Post launch. After four weeks have gone by, your creation will be removed from the most thumbs up playlist to make way for new creations. When dreams first launched, this pretty much meant curtains for your game's play count, unless a player randomly stumbled across it. These days, with the efforts of Media Molecule's curation team, it's a slightly different story. Your dream should be organised into one of the genre categories. It might even be featured in articles or other curated playlists on the front page. Once again, increasing the discoverability of your games. Even after the four-week launch period is over, your dream will still get a modest continued source of plays, especially if it managed to rank well during launch. You don't just have to rely on other people finding your creations though. Now you've got some plays in the bank, you've hopefully earned some equity you can spend. A finished game means you can share new screenshots, new videos and new trailers. 
but now you can pair them with any positive reviews and feedback you've had for natural buffs. This might also be a good time to approach Dreams content creators to help promote your game. Search for Dreams Let's Plays on YouTube, streamers and podcasters. Engage with their content and invite them to play your game. If you ever want your creation featured on our channel, take a look at our Patreon. Gold tier patrons get a video feature of their dream in our monthly news video each and every month they subscribe. If a content creator does go to the trouble of promoting your game, remember to share their content to get even more eyes your way. Engage with their comments and viewers. This is the perfect opportunity to sell your game. Some fast final tips. Once your game is launched, when you share, always include the indreams.me link. Savvy Dreams players will know they can quickly add it to their play later queue. You could consider updating your game with new content to keep people interested. It doesn't have to be massive changes, you could optimize it for VR or make it remixable. Find similar games to yours in Dreams. Play them, leave a meaningful comment and invite them to play your creation as well. Be polite and civil to anyone you contact to play your dream. They might not have the time or even want to play your game and that's okay. Finally, remember the most simple way to get more plays is to simply release a good game. If you want to know some of the biggest mistakes rookie creators make and how to avoid them, check out our video 5 Dreams Don'ts. Let us know in the comments if you found this video useful. Remember, you can find a bunch of handy links down there as well, including our Patreon. Thanks for watching!